Welcome back, everyone. We're going to kick things off by going into this exposition of the week from last week, which was the stand and deliver. And we got to be honest with you guys, it finally happened where we didn't get to it. Yeah. We've had some stressful, busy week. I mean, we we did have sex this week, but we weren't thinking of the position. And by time we did, it just wasn't doable for, well, let's just be honest. I got my period and I was not feeling it. <laughs> So we do apologize, but hey, we are human and we could not get that in there this week. So we will join it with next with um, this week's sex position of the week. And hopefully we can do them both this week, which we tend to do several sex positions during one session. <laughs> you say session like we're signing up for it. <laughs> this week, sign up for stand and deliver sex position. So... But, I mean, it looks fun. We just didn't get to do it yet, so we'll report back next week. We promise we'll get it done. I think we talked about it because you said you hinted at shower sex, but I don't know if we were in the shower or not. We weren't. But we were, we were in the small, it. and we were by the smaller shower yeah. in our house, and we're like, there's no room in there, and we have a cat rubbing on the microphone. Yeah. Excuse me, Cleo. If you hear something weird against the microphone during that, that was the cat. And then, as far as how our week went, obviously, we just said, very busy. We haven't been able to make too much time for each other this week, mm-hmm. which was really hard on us. And Yeah, we started a new job. Both of us started new jobs that are an hour commute. And it just we have to get up earlier, figure out what we're doing with our pets. We're go, the, still go to the gym. Still go to the gym, go to work. And I'm crafting as well, and I have a craft fair coming up. So just making time for each other has been very difficult for mm-hmm. us. Um, so we're going to work on that this week. And on top of that, we need to focus on our mindfulness because I've been thinking about all the different changes with trying to sell our, with selling our house, figuring out where we're going to live, figuring out are these the new jobs we want, looking at different jobs, Instead of just being in the moment and taking that time, like she said. Yeah. Been a lot, of, a lot of stress. I'm hoping today to just have a little downtime. And then Jeff is going to take it off with the advice of the week. What do you have for us this week? So mine's really simple. And it's actually from, on YouTube, he goes by Coach Corey Wayne. Um, he has a book that, the only book I I don't read often, but I read this by him. Um, It's called How to Be a 3%. Is it 3% Man or 3%? Yeah, How to Be a 3% Man. And it's mostly, it's advice for men, but if a woman wants to read it too, a lot of times, like he even says this too, like they'll read that and they're like, oh, that is what I want. Like Mm -hmm. you see, um, and I was talking to a guy friend yesterday about this too, because he's interested in this girl and she wants him to, to be more direct and forward about it too but um, that's the second part of this advice the first part the thing he says is when you're asking your friends for advice on if you're a guy and you're asking about women or you're a woman asking about guys it sounds like really simple advice but he says look and see do they have good relationships like are they actually good like are they in healthy relationships and stuff because maybe you shouldn't be asking them advice it's a simple thing to think of, but yeah. So if I don't you always know, think of it. Yeah, I guess if you're asking for advice, that is a good idea. Like, look at them, be like, they don't seem like they're doing well, so maybe don't listen to what they yeah. have to say. And then part two of the advice, he has a ton of advice. Like, I recommend to anybody, especially men, to look him up on YouTube. It's Coach Corey Wayne. Um, otherwise, he has a website too. Just look for his name, and he talks about how women watch movies and stuff and they see the guy being like doing this like grand romantic gesture and he's always like following her and stuff and doing everything for her and they're like oh i wish i had that but if you do it in real life women get majorly turned off by it they don't want that they always seem to want the guy that is like they seem to like not hit things off right away or the guy doesn't show that much interest in them and that playing hard to get seems to really help more and I'm getting a look from Shelly right now where she's like, I don't think that's true. But if she thinks about real life, it will be true. Because when we started dating, I made sure I... You took... always texted me and I was happy. But I took my sweet time. Like, I made sure I did not text back two times in a row. I, like, 
did not text for a long time. Like I did that after reading this stuff because I knew you waited for me to respond or what? Yeah, and you even said there were times where you talked to your coworkers and you're like, "Why isn't he texted yet?" And yeah. it, and then you would cave and you would text first, and it works. You well, don't, you're not too. I would have been then. totally happy if you would have just texted me first. Yeah, we probably you. I don't know. And you open the door for me. You well, that nice that kind gestures. of stuff is good. You can still be a gentleman. Like you don't have to be. Just don't be overly. Just just look up his stuff. <laughs> he explains it way better, and he will even say. That's interesting. Yeah, he will even say women say they want this, but then when you do it, they don't like it at all. It looks good in the movies, but in real life, it never works. Hmm. That's why hmm. women don't like nice guys, and I was always the nice guy. And then I... You were a nice guy to I'm, me. I'm nice, but not a nice guy anymore. Like, a nice guy is like, they're the pushover and they just want to please everybody. Oh. And yeah. they don't get anywhere. You're the stubborn guy. I'm just kidding. I'm not I'm not kidding, but we have our own stubbornness towards each other, mm-hmm. so there's just that. But I'm still nice, but not yeah. a pushover. And that seems to really help us. Yeah. So, yeah, just look him up. Any guys that are looking for advice, I would look him up. Women, too. It, it's good. I like that. All right. Well, we will go on into our date idea for the week. And I thought of this because this is something I want and I might just, we could both do it today. I didn't tell Jeff about it. So, and I don't think he looked at my computer to see what I put down, but an at-home spa day or afternoon. I know we've done massages and stuff in the past, but it's sometimes you, you need to make time for it. It's not always something you can just do and almost anyone could do this at home. You might need to go pick something up. Or if you have the ingredients in your kitchen, you could make stuff. Um, but just an at-home spa day, if you have a big bath. Um, Jeff and I have taken baths together and relaxed and lit a candle. And it's just a very relaxing time to be together. You have that mindfulness app, actually, that we've listened to it while we were in the tub. And just kind of, I don't know, it was really relaxing and really good for us because... I'm laying on top of his chest and I can just, when he breathes in, my whole body lifts and I don't know, it's the most relaxing thing Mm. in the world. And then, yeah. And so I added massages as well. Um, and then face masks. Jeff has actually done face (laughs) masks with me. It's It's kind of fun. It's fun. I don't know. Like a guy can do all that stuff. It's fun. And yeah, so that's my date idea. It can be a gift too. If you ever want to surprise your loved one to any of those things, you know, a lot of places have spas and it doesn't have to be a spa it could just be like some people just offer massages um facials things like that everybody just just winked at me when i said facials i don't want that so not that kind of facial. another thing too i like that idea because everyone talks about self-care and taking time mm-hmm. for yourself but you can do it together too you're yeah. relaxing together it doesn't have to just be by yourself mm-hmm and then just to make us sound like alcoholics, go ahead, crack open a beer while you're doing it. I just feel like we always say it. So and just with like, every day idea. Oh, and have oh, alcohol if yeah. you're 21. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good good call. 21 only. But or yeah, older. we always add alcohol at the end. But you don't have to. But yeah, so at home spa day. Or if you guys want, and you know it's going to be more expensive, they do couples massages. Go out. Splurge on yourselves if you have the money for it. I just know it can be quite costly. So... This is a cost efficient? No. Yeah. This is a cheaper way of going about it and having fun at home. And you get to touch each other if you're doing massages. Yeah. <laughs> Leads into sex. There you go. Sometimes. So Yeah, not all the time. Sometimes it's, oh, I'm so tired and relaxed now. Yep. Okay. And then our sex stories. Did you want to share yours first? Yeah, I only have one. Mine's from Reddit. And it is from Chaotic <laughs> chaotic gerbil and says i was 18 and went to visit my girlfriend at the time she was still living at home and her mom just happened to be out we got hot and heavy and started having sex on the sofa now i should add there's this really weird throw pillow on the couch one of those ones where you can get a picture printed onto it this particular throw pillow had my girlfriend's dead grandmother on it and as i'm about to come she shouts i this could be censored but Fuck, I haven't taken the pill. Don't come in me. So I pull out with lightning speed and cum goes everywhere. I look over to the left of me and there's literally cum dripping down the dead grandmother's pixelated and large. Oh my god. Uh, I hope that's a true story. But that's... That's good. I mean, it's bad, but it's good. 
I would have like thrown the pillow somewhere far away so I didn't have to look at it. Maybe it's it just... helped them. Oh God! Isn't that supposed to be something where it helps them not come? Oh, that was a good story. Mine also has to do with come. All right, I'm also just going to do one. I think we'll just start doing one each until we actually have people start writing them in more, and then we can share other people's stories. It's just more fun when we when our friends write us in and tell us some stories. Anyone listening to this podcast, please write us in. We'd love to share stories. Um, so this one's from Patrick, and I got it from menshealth.com. And he says, My girlfriend and I don't use condoms, but we also don't have me finish in her just to be extra safe with pregnancy, even though she takes birth control. So I usually have control over my aim, but this one time I pulled out one on top and squirted all over her face. It got in her eyes and everything. She wasn't too mad, but I was embarrassed and got all red. I don't know. Like, we haven't had that happen, but I don't know. I'm not one to want a facial and... I don't know. I know some people have that fetish, but it just seems kind of demeaning. Yeah, I don't like that's too. Yeah, that's too much for me. I don't like that. And I mean, you would obviously be surprised if it happened on accident because it's just like throwing something in your face. And funny enough, there is an editor's note on here just to kind of give like a FYI for people. And they're like, the pull-out method is difficult to do correctly, meaning about one in five people who rely on it become pregnant, according to Planned Parenthood. I thought that was interesting to throw in there because I do hear people are like, oh, we did the pull-out. I'm like, from what? And I would always hear people say that's not 100% effective. I'm like, well, Mm -hmm. yeah, because you have that, what's it called, pre-cum? Yeah. Well, and you can do it too late. And um, that's how, wait, yeah, that's how some people can do it for a long time. Like if uh, Russell's listening, I know (laughs) his now wife did that for years and... He claims the only time he didn't is the one time now that they have a son. Yeah. But he didn't pull out. That time he didn't pull out. Yeah. But he said it sounds like he was 100% successful all the other yeah. years. Yeah. Hopefully they'll be our next guests and will give us a little bit more insight into I'll that. ask him all about it. <laughs> all right. And then the sex position of this week is going to be the cowboy. So yes, it is the... It's like the cowgirl, except the girl's on the bottom and the guy's on top. I'm not sure if Jeff's penis... I don't understand if your penis can bend that angle far down. I don't know. I know we talked about this once. We had this conversation where you said some men's penises can be... I don't know why you know this, but, you know, can bend down further and some can't bend up as... I don't remember saying that. I feel like somebody told us that. Somebody told us that. Okay. Well, not everyone's penis bends the same way, so we're just kind of intrigued how this will work, but... It is the cowgirl, except reversed, penis or dildo on top, or not dildo, penis or strap on on top, hole on bottom. They did say, like, I don't, like, if I don't think you can do anal for this, though. I think that hole's too... Too far away. I mean, I know they're right next to each other, but I think they're, yeah, the angle-wise, that won't work. Anal angle? Anal angle. All right. Remember, everything we discuss is a try at your own risk. We are not responsible for any injuries. Our podcast comes out every Wednesday morning. Social media, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Couples Sutra. Remember, that's couples with a K. Or you can email us at couplesutra at gmail.com. Please go like and subscribe. And please, you guys, email us your sex stories, sex position thoughts, issues you have questions on, anything, and we will be happy to share these things with you all. Thank you so much for listening, and we will talk to you all next week.